All right, guys, welcome to the channel. It is cold this morning. Uh, back at today, we are going to be uh, we're back in the truck stuff. As you can see, coveralls, full shebang today. Um, toys good, right? But uh, we got a little situation, a little project we got going on. So if you watch my older videos, you'll see I got the gray truck here out. Um, this truck, it's got a blown head gasket. I'm pretty sure there's no doubt about it. It has a blown head gasket. So, update on it is been sitting for a little while and I've been putting batteries in. So I fired it up and uh, yeah, so I fired it up like two weeks ago and everything was good. I fired it up, had to you know beat the brakes because they get rusted up, you know, they get stuck to the shoes, all that fancy stuff. But fired up great. Put batteries in, fired up great. Well, um, Drove over to buddy's house, like let it run for like two or three hours, really. Drove it over there, everything was great. Turbo's working great, transmission shifting smooth. Everything was just good. Um, week later, I said, well, yeah, I put new batteries in it, better fire it up, because it, it's not like a blown, like super bad head gasket. It's just pushing bubbles, right? So I uh, go over to buddy's house, all that stuff, I'll get back over here. Week later, we go to fire it up just to make sure the battery's good, and it is, um, it cranked, but it wasn't like it wanted to fire up. It was like one cylinder was hitting, or two cylinders were hitting. It was really shitty. So I charged it back up, you know, it was kind of like, well, whatever. So we put fill filters on it. Um, buddy came over and helped me out in that. It was awesome. Um, really, I used the help. That was a good day to have help, for sure. Well, we got that all going. It fired up, and it's just running, like, rough. Like, really rough. So, all right, what happened now? So, um... Yesterday, we pulled, well, I borrowed a scan tool, so long story short, borrowed a scan tool, I got four dead injectors, is what I got. Swapped injector number one, number two, because number one was, one, one was good, two was dead, swapped it, it moved. So now two and six is the only ones firing. Um, I don't know what happened. I don't think trash, I'm gonna cut a, I'm gonna cut a fill filter today, cut that fill filter open and see how bad it looks. Um, I don't know if a line deteriorated, there's only one rubber hose that goes, um, after the secondary fill filter to the injector system. So I don't know if that's like, maybe it deteriorated, got junk in it. When I had the injector out, it looked good. Uh, I didn't see nothing on the screen. I don't know. Nothing like uh, realizing you're gonna spend probably five grand on a cracked head to realize that now you're gonna spend another three grand on injectors. So that sucks. So we're gonna do some backwoods uh, repair, what we're gonna try to do. So uh, update on today's project. So the project on hand is I got, so right here is where fuel return on these c15s is um i checked fuel pressure which goes right here is a gauge you put here i got plenty of fuel pressure all that stuff so i know i got fuel going to it everything's good it runs on two cylinders it is what it is i'm thinking some trash got in there so fuel return and on this truck in particular this is your primary filter and this is the suction hose that goes down and it goes up here is your fuel pump uh down in there so it feeds that pump there and then that feeds to your secondary filter and then it comes out of here with that's the rubber hose I'm talking about one right there coming off right right there if you can see right there that feeds it to the top of your head in the front and then your return line comes off the back right here goes to a pressure uh, relief valve here and then whatever's left over goes back to your tank today the plan is I got some diesel fuel we're gonna bypass the whole system that way I know I got clean, good fuel. We're gonna run a cleaner through it. Um, yeah, we're gonna first run a cleaner through it. I got some really good cleaner coming. It's gonna be here like this weekend, but we're gonna use some of the diesel clean silver stuff. I've had good luck with that stuff before too. Um, we're just gonna try to we're gonna try to backwoods fix it before. I mean, when I pull the head, I can do the injectors. It's not a big deal. It's just the money, you know. They were good. Literally a week later, four of them are bad. I I don't know what to tell you. It sucks, but. Uh, yeah stick around we'll see how things go all right back at it we got it all as you hear in the background we got it running uh man it's a mess got my arms like probably can't tell covered sleeves are covered in diesel fuel checking filters make sure they're full uh i had to use a little bit of ether to get it primed up but here's the setup right now so return line right here we gotta go down to a bucket and that's the feed line. The big line goes down to the. Let's see, go down there. Alright, you stick it there. So, here's the setup right here. 
Got it covered up so the leaves don't uh, get here, but that's the return line flowing. You guys ever wonder how much flow it gets? I just got both hoses, you know, I get the pickup tube at the bottom. I got that. Go ahead. Leaves are everywhere today, blowing like crazy. Uh, so I put about like a couple gallons of diesel in that thing, and the majority of it's diesel clean. Uh, this is actually the cleaner uh, that we're using today. I got some, like I said, I got diesel purge coming. Uh, it should be your Saturday. I'm gonna do the same kind of setup with a diesel purge if this don't fix anything. But kind of the idea is I'm super dosing some cleaner in there, trying to loosen anything up and then let it sit. I'm let kind of burn most of that through and I'm let it sit and then um, hopefully it eats it up, you know, while it sits overnight. But that's kind of the game plan. I don't know how it's all gonna work out. Really just need to buy injectors. Pain, pain in the butt. If you guys think about doing this, it's a little bit pain in the butt, but saving like, you know, three grand. I got a day to put that in there, right? So we're gonna try her out. Everything else is doing pretty good. Um, I'll get back. I'll get back to you no matter what, if it works or not. All right, quick update. We got the fuel pressure gauge hooked up to it now. Checking fuel pressure. It's about like 750 in the idle, and uh, we're doing. Uh, about 75 78 psi and so uh what i'm thinking i see another guy do not for this issue but uh bump the fuel pressure up on that thing is to uh, block off the return it should bump up to around 100 or so so hoping to shock the injectors by doing that maybe and get the stuff to flush out so well, let's go ahead and do that and see what happens all right so now we got the uh, return line blocked off i'll show you that same rpm now got the turn line blocked off. And about 110 I'd say. Somewhere around there. 100. Um, so I'm hoping that extra pressure gets uh maybe gets some of that stuff removed, pushes it out. That something wasn't a hope. Yeah, we'll find out, right? Guys, I am happy as can be. Probably by the biggest smile on my face you've seen all the time. Uh, as you can hear in the background, she is running like a champ. Uh, totally fixed it. Totally worth the try. Uh, you can hear it. Way better. Way better, right? Ain't shaking, ain't rattling, ain't knocking. So what I did was hopped up in here, let warm up a little bit, and then I was uh, just pushing the gas pedal and revving it up. Revving up to like, I don't know, probably like 1700 or so. And you can just tell that was really opening the injectors up. You know, and how that, how that injector works if you do any research is, uh, it's got a rod that pushes down from the cam that makes your pressure. It's pumping in and out all the time, in and out. Fuel goes in, fuel goes out. And it, when it needs the fuel to go into the motor for fuel to use, to burn, it, uh, Hits that solenoid, that solenoid locks a little uh, poppet valve up, blocks the return off, and that pushes the fuel into the motor. So, um, you know, the more you rev on it, that's my call in here, broker, of course. Um, but yeah, uh, as the motor revs up more fuel demand, then the more fuel it captures from going in the return side. So, revving it up like that, I was like, I might as well rev it up a little bit once I get some heat into it so I can. Uh, get that pop it valve to close a little sooner was the hope so man i'm i am excited uh by the way if you if you guys are looking at doing this and maybe save an injector it could work i probably got about 200 bucks in it i don't know i spent 40 dollars in fuel lines and 20 bucks in cleaner you know fuel filter already had on there and all that so it's really not that much at all really probably like less than 100 dollars. i got some really good cleaner coming in saturday anyways called diesel purge probably mentioned it before in the video but um it's really good. We used to uh, do a lot of Volkswagen stuff, Volkswagen Jetta back there in the background, and uh, diesel. And uh, man, I've watched that stuff just remove, just remove gunk. I mean, just like, just tear it up too. People run cooking oil and all that junk in those cars, and I've seen it just work wonders. Um, but yeah, as far as, uh, as far as this operation, man, you know, I recommend if you, if you buy this setup like this, this is the proper way to do a fuel injector cleaner, even if you're not having problems. This, this this way is way better than dumping your tank. You know, it might take you, I mean, I've been on it for probably, yeah, it probably took me about two hours or so to set everything up. Biggest pain in the butt is getting the prime because I don't have a prime uh, prime push pump on my uh, 
still put your housing, so you kind of have to mess with that, and that's the biggest pain in the butt. But uh, as you can hear, man, it is. I am so happy. So I uh, hope this video helps you guys out tremendously. Because like I said, it's like three grand plus labor for injectors, and um, you know they're just getting dirt in them. Put some cleaner in it. I used the diesel clean. It worked really good. I've had good results out of it too. Uh, I was like, that's <laughs> just today. Same deal. But uh, yeah, there it is. Gray bottle. Not the white bottle. White bottle is for uh, anti-gel and all that. Gray bottle is for summer mix and injector cleaner. Man, I am. I'm just happy. I'll tell you that right now. So, um, wish we didn't last week when I really needed the truck to move some stuff around, but that's how it goes. Um, anything else? I mean, I'm, I'm running other systems, other cleaner through it Saturday when it comes in. Because I know that stuff is really good. The stuff I put in today, that diesel clean, we used to use it when we built injectors at a shop I worked at. That's what we used to dip stuff in because it just eats the crud. I mean, if you had that stuff straight concentrated, that's the key. Don't, you know, it, I guess it works pretty good diluted, but when you have it straight concentrated like that, it, it eats the stuff up. I mean, it just dissolves it. Um, yeah, so as always, like the video, share. I hope you guys are having a good time out there. I'm stoked today. We'll see how tomorrow goes, but today is definitely a good day. See you guys later.